Washing your hands and following safety protocols can help prevent you from getting sick from COVID-19, but it could also save someone's life. We've seen a lot of questions online about why government agencies, sports organizations, and even celebrities are canceling their big public events. Well, anything that would have large groups could further spread the virus. Kelloland's Brady Mallory shows you why the effort isn't just about protecting healthy people, it's about keeping at-risk populations safe. Kendra Gottsleben may use a wheelchair, but she's always standing up for others, like herself, who have rare diseases. Hers affects her heart, other vital organs, connective tissue, and mobility. She's written books about her condition to spread awareness, and now she's writing to try to stop the spread of COVID-19. My immune system is very susceptible. In a tweet, she's asking you to follow safety guidelines and think about the elderly and people with rare diseases and weakened immune systems. When people online are saying, I'll be fine, I don't need to follow these rules because I won't get it, how does that make you feel when you see that? You're correct. It might be fine for you, but you need to remember people like me that we can't fight it. More than likely, if we get it, it will kill us. Dr. Brian Scow with Avera Health says right now, COVID-19's death rate for healthy people is 3%. It's five times that for people who are at risk because of old age, diseases, or weakened immune systems, equaling a 15% death rate. That's alarming to me, and it should be to the entire community. That's why Dr. Scow says it's important to wash your hands, stay away from large groups, stay home if you're sick, and follow safety guidelines. The people that you should be thinking about are this at-risk population, uh, the immunosuppressed. And these are people uh, that have cancer. Uh, they can have bone marrow disease, but in addition, they can be like a kidney transplant patient. You may not think COVID-19 is a big deal to you, but it could be to someone you pass it on to. It's also a time to be like thinking of others who maybe have a rare disease or a disability. Brady Mallory, Kelloland News. Gottsleben says she is taking the opportunity to work from home to stay safe. For more safety advice, you can visit our Coronavirus Information Center at the top of our homepage on Kelloland.com.